everyone, my name's Laura and I work for Durham University. We're really sorry we can't be with you in person today, but we've created this video to give you a little bit of a taste of what Durham University is like. So, before we get started into the main content of the presentation, I wanted to share a few facts and figures with you about the university. We're ranked currently within the top 10 in most major league tables around the UK. We're also ranked within the world top 100, which is really impressive considering the amount of universities there are all around the world. Now, our academics or lecturers who will teach students at university are often at the forefront of their field, world leading and doing current research. So they really are experts. They've been awarded the TEF Gold Rating, which is the highest rating a university can get. We also have at Durham University quite a unique student experience because we have something called a collegiate system. Not many universities in the UK have this, so it does make us stand out a little bit. I'll tell you a little bit more about what these colleges are later on in this session. So Durham University is located within Durham City. Now this city is located within the northeast of England, which is a really beautiful region of the world with lots of interesting things to see and do. We're about a 10 minute train journey from Newcastle, which is another large local city, and we've got really good train transport links to other major centres around the UK, including London and Birmingham that can be reached within only a couple of hours. Durham City, some may say, is quite small, but it's big on things to see and do. So from boat trips along the River Weir, to shopping, entertainment, cinemas, restaurants, bars, cafes, museums, all of these are available within Durham City itself, and actually they're all within walking distance. Having said that, there are also really good transport links, particularly from the bus networks, to travel around the city if you need to. So at Durham University, we are classed as a city university, and this means that our facilities are spread all around Durham City, rather than being on one particular campus. Having said that, there are particular hubs or areas, such as the library, the support centre, and different teaching rooms that are all compacted quite close together. We currently have around 13,000 undergraduate students who are studying for their first degree, but we also have around 4,000 postgraduate students who might be studying for a master's or PhD, which could be their second or third degree. We have students who come to study with us from all around the world, actually from 150 countries, so it gives us a really nice way to share culture and meet lots of different people. We have four faculties and these faculties are split up into 25 academic departments. So within each of these departments there are several courses and opportunities for learning. Most students will study one subject but some students might choose two or three. At Durham University we have over 200 courses to choose from. I couldn't fit all of those courses on screen for you today, so I've picked some of the main subject areas to share with you. And students do choose to study something that they're really passionate about or interested in because they get to hone in in lots of detail when they're at university. At Durham, we have the chance to study combined honours, which allows you to study two or three subjects in one degree. At Durham, these are known as combined honours in social sciences, liberal arts and natural sciences where students can combine similar sorts of subjects within their one degree. If you would like more information about any of our courses, you can visit the address on screen now at our website. So teaching and learning at university then can be a little bit different to school, college or sixth form. Often students are taught in large lecture halls, as you can see on screen at the moment. This could be around 200 students in one room and students will usually take notes and listen to the academic but of course it's really difficult to ask any questions with so many people in the room. So for that reason we also have something called seminars. Now seminars are often smaller teaching groups so you might have a seminar with perhaps only around 10 students. This gives you the chance to ask any questions and get really into detail on a particular subject or topic related to your degree. For some students, you will also get the opportunity to participate in fieldwork or practical sessions, such as working in laboratories. This is usually for science-based subjects, but can also include subjects such as geography, where students get to go out and about in the field. Our facilities at Durham are world class. We have libraries with national archive status that sometimes even have original copies of important books. 
We've got three museums owned by the university. We have recently invested in the Teaching and Learning Centre, which you can see on your screen at the moment. And we've actually just built a new college at Durham as well, which is one of our 17 colleges. So we are investing all the time in the, in the facilities that we have. And we're also able to take teaching online now through lots of these facilities. When you study at university, you also have the opportunity to study abroad, which can be really, really exciting for students. If you choose to study a language, you will usually go on a study abroad as part of your course. Now, most courses last for around three years, but if you choose to study abroad, it will add an extra year onto your course. Currently, our study abroad has been available for all of our students and we have destinations across the globe. So no matter what subject you study, you will still get the opportunity to do this if it's something that really excites you. Now, of course, at the moment, we're having to take into consideration government guidelines and travel restrictions, but we are hoping to still offer this to our students in the future. Now, you've heard me talking about our collegiate system a little bit already, and this is something at Durham we're really proud of. Now, you might have heard about student accommodation at other universities being called halls of residence or maybe student flats, but at Durham, our students live in college. So not only is college their student accommodation, where most students will live in their first year, it also houses lots and lots of other opportunities. So sports and societies are run through colleges. There's lots of social events as well, formals and balls. You can choose what kind of options you want from your college as well. So you could choose a smaller college or you might choose a really large college. Some colleges are catered and some are self-catered. Some have a combination. So you really do get the choice to kind of help you transition and settle into university. You also get lots of leadership opportunities within a college because they're all run by our students. So you can vote different students to lead, being the president or perhaps welfare officer. And you also get the opportunity to lead sports and societies too, or maybe even set up your own. And I'll talk to you a little bit more about that later on. So our 17 colleges then all have their own kind of unique stamp and all have something a little bit special about them. But ultimately, our students love whichever college they end up in. And often this is something they're really proud of and will shout about even when they've graduated. You'll always remain part of your college, even if you don't live in college at all. You'll still be part of your college for your full time at university and even beyond that. If you want to find out more about any of our colleges, you can do so on our website and you can download our college guide too. So our colleges are more than just student accommodation. They give you a chance to get involved in new or exciting things. They give our students a real sense of belonging and a real sense of community. College parents are older students who will sort of adopt first years to give them that little bit of support and help them with the transition. So they can give you first-hand experience of what it was like for them. It could be getting advice on reading lists. It could be getting advice on the best cafes around Durham. This is a really special thing for our students. Because you get the chance to be involved in lots of different sports and societies, it also gives you a chance to develop lots of skills that can help you in the future and help you become more employable. And ultimately, our colleges are really diverse because we have students from all around the world, but each of our colleges also have students from all subjects. None of our colleges are tied to academic departments. At Durham, we really support our students getting involved in extracurricular opportunities. And so for that reason, we have Wednesday afternoons with no academic timetable in. This allows students to get involved in something outside of their studies. So it could be sports, societies, music, theatre. And I want to tell you a little bit about that now. So sport then is actually really popular at Durham. Over 75% of students will participate in some kind of sport. And that's probably because not only have we got our Team Durham university level sport, but you can also play sport in colleges, which is often more relaxed because it means that no matter what level you are, you can still get involved and have fun or you can compete nationally at a really high level as well. Durham often performs really well in the Books League, which is the national university league for sports around the UK. We've got lots and lots of sports available. Some you might have had the chance to play before and some you might never have had the chance to do before. Theatre and music is also really popular at Durham. 
We currently have 26 theatre companies and around 90 music societies and between them they put on over 80 productions throughout the year so there's lots of chance to be on stage and perform if that's something you're interested in. From Shakespeare to comedy to gospel choirs to musical theatre we really do have everything. We've got orchestras, brass bands, jazz bands, there's lots of chance for you to perform in a group or also as soloists. Clubs and societies are a really important part of student life at Durham. It's a really good way for you to make friends, to try something new, learn a new skill, help the community, but ultimately to have fun. We have over 250 societies at Durham and I've highlighted some of them on the screen for you now. Societies range from things like tea appreciation to ice skating to improvised comedy. We have anime societies. We have people that are part of the vegetarian and vegan society. There's lots of different things for you to meet other like-minded people and share your interests. And if there isn't a society out there for you, you can actually make your own through the Durham Students' Union. If you want to find out more about any of our societies, you can do so at the address on screen now. Our Students' Union is a really important part of the university. Students are elected in to put out students' opinions and the student voice to the wider university to make change and make a positive impact. Our Students' Union also houses its own radio station, magazine and newspaper. So if you're into journalism or want to try being a DJ, there's lots of opportunity for you to do so. Support at Durham is really important to us and there's lots of different ways that you can reach out and get support if you need it. We've got lots of different levels of support because of the different networks we have around the university. So firstly at college we have a senior tutor and college mentors who are members of staff that are there to support you if you need to talk about anything. We also have the JCR welfare team. Now the JCR stands for the junior common room and this is the body of students that we were talking about earlier. Students are elected onto this committee and often they will talk about things that are important to students within that college. We also have services run through our students union such as our welfare officers and committees, various different welfare campaigns and the advice centre as well. On a university level we've got lots of other professional services such as our counselling service, the services for students with disabilities and Nightline as well which is a 24 hour free phone number that you can call whenever you need support. At Durham, our career centre is a really important part for us. We're really proud of our graduates because they go on to do fantastic things once they've left university. We're actually ranked within the top 50 globally for our employer reputation and this means that employers really look for people with that Durham degree and those skills that make them stand out. Our Careers, Employability and Enterprise Centre can also help you to find part-time work while you're at university or perhaps an internship or summer placement to help you get involved and gain new skills. They can also help with one-to-one -one appointments to help you with your CV or perhaps some of that interview practice. Some of our graduates go on to work in some of the biggest companies around the world including KPMG, IBM, Deloitte, EDF Energy, the BBC, the Civil Service and that's just to name a few. Another opportunity that you might be interested in if you're a bit of an entrepreneur is setting up your own business and our Careers Employability and Enterprise Centre can support you with that too. They can also support you with finding a placement which is an option that some of our students do between their second and final years at the university. Now currently this option is open to anyone no matter what your subject at Durham but of course we are trying to take into consideration current government guidelines to make sure that this is safe for our students. A placement year is a really good opportunity for students to get first hand full time experience working in an industry of their choice. This can help you to gain lots of skills that might help you once you're going out into the world when you've graduated. It can also give you a taster of what that particular industry is like to see if it actually is for you. If you want to find out more about careers or our placement opportunities, please go and visit our website. We hope that this has been really, really helpful in telling you all about Durham University. If you do have any questions, you can go onto our website and ask us at any time. We'll be more than happy to answer. 
please don't forget to download your prospectus to read more about all of our courses and different opportunities available at Durham. And if you want to connect with us on social media, you can do so using the information in the corner of your screen right now. Thank you so much for listening. We've really enjoyed being able to visit you today virtually. We hope to be able to see you all soon. In the meantime, take care and stay safe.